Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. So I want to show you one of the tools that has hit Google Meet, and it is called Question and Answer, or Q&A. If you've used Q&A with Google Slides, it's very, very similar to that, but I wanna show it to you, and I just wanna let you know before we get started that it's only for G Suite Enterprise for Education accounts. So you're not gonna see this on every Google Meet, only if your district has paid for G Suite Enterprise for Education. Let's get started. So the three things I have updated, you'll see in this little button that looks like a little shape bonanza, a little shape triangle. And if you click that, we have breakout rooms, polls and question and answer so let's look at question and answer this is really cool because you can allow your students to ask questions so i'm going to turn on question and answer ask a question so that's what the students are going to see and i'm going to go to the student account now ta-da question and answer i can ask a question yay blah 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 blah, blah. and notice they have 300 characters post. The cool thing about this is you can also thumbs up a question. So if I'm this student and I'm like, what it, oh yeah, I have that same question. I don't have to ask the exact same question. I can just say, yes, I also upvote, upvote that question. But I am going to ask a question because I want to have more than one. Duh. There you go. So notice I can only delete the question that I asked. I can't do anything to this one. As the teacher, I can delete a question. I can say I've already answered that question and I can mark it as hidden. So if there's something that's inappropriate, you can hide it and you will be able to see it later because they send you a report. So you don't have to worry about like, oh, I have to take a picture, I have to get my proof. It's going to send you a report, so you're fine. But if I hide it, what does the student see? They see that their question has been hidden. So they may want to start questioning themselves like, wait, why did she hide my question? They can still come here and delete it, but you already have the proof because it's already recorded on the spreadsheet. But I like that it shows that the question has been hidden. And then when I come to the other student, notice that question is completely gone. All I see is the question that I did. So if you hide the question, it'll only appear to the student who actually Post it the question, but it'll tell them that it's hidden. I'm gonna unhide the question now, and I'm gonna say, I've answered that one, awesome. What do they see on their side? They'll see a little check mark saying, hey, this one has been answered. And there you go, it has been answered. So notice they can say, well, I only wanna see my questions, or I wanna see all the questions, oldest or newest or popular ones. Popular means it has, more upvotes than the other ones. And as the teacher, you also have these three, but instead of just all questions and my questions, you can filter it by like, which ones do I still need to answer? You know, which ones have I already answered? Wh where are my hidden ones that were problems? That kind of thing. So that's question and answer. If I don't want to allow it anymore, I can just click this. And then you'll see right here that the button for ask a question on the student end is gone. They can still see the questions, but I can't ask anything because the teacher just clicked this button to turn it off. So it's instantaneous when you're turning questions on and off and they'll be getting these little notifications pop up on their screen as well. But wait, there's more. So. I had to actually stop the meeting in order to get the results of my question and answer and my polls. So I actually stopped the meeting about three minutes and then I got the email. So I got an email with the question results and the polling results. But of course, if you only asked one, then you'll only get the one. But I did get both. So for my polling results, it'll show me the person who answered the poll 
what their answer was. And then these were actually my questions here at the top. So if you really think about it, you can use this for attendance because it's going to automatically get the student's name. So you're, you can ask a poll question that just says, are you here today, yes or no? And they can click yes. And of course you shouldn't have any no's because they're not there today, um, but there you go. So that's a really quick way for you to take attendance, but you can also get all of the other poll results if you want to use it for participation. And then I also have my question results. So I did do an inappropriate answer. I know none of our students will ever do an inappropriate answer, but I wanted to see, you know, how it looked on my results. So please ignore, if you see my inappropriate answer, ignore it, um, or my inappropriate question, I should say. So it tells me who submitted each question, what question they submitted, what time they and time date to the second stamped, you know, just like your Google form would do um, when they submitted it, submitted it, who, well, not who, but how many people upvoted it. And then it kind of keeps track of, did you clear it? Did you answer it? Did you um, hide it? You know, did the submitter delete it? So if they try to put something there and then they're like, ha ha, I'm going to delete it. It'll actually show you that they tried to, they tried to delete that question, right? So you have a whole bunch of data here. That's really awesome. And even if you delete it, is still gonna come on this list. So if somebody puts something inappropriate, it'll still go on that list. So that's how you get your results. Again, it took about three minutes for this email to come up. So I would say give it between, you know, three to 10 minutes, depending on your Wi-Fi speed and all that good stuff. But this is how you get your results. And there you go. So I'm glad to teach you one of the new tools that have hit Google Meet in the G Suite Enterprise for Education. Good luck.